Hello, I'm Dr. Chris Burke, Associate Professor of Practice here at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln in the Department of Computer Science and Engineering. And I'm sending this out as a welcome message to everybody taking my Computer Science 1 course this fall, uh, CSCE 155E. I'm sure that you have a lot of questions about what your classes are gonna look like this fall. I can't tell you what all your classes are gonna look like, but I can tell you what your Computer Science 1 class is gonna look like. First of all, some numbers though. There's only 14 days until we start, and that first week we're going to be starting remotely. For that first week, everything is going to be online. Currently, we have 183 enrolled in the on-campus section, and 26 people are enrolled in the online section. We have 18 learning assistants. These are undergraduates that are going to help you in labs, hacks, and with grading. And we have five course leaders that are going to lead the labs and help supervise the LAs as they help you. So obviously the biggest thing is going to be masks. I've got mine right now, and this is what it's gonna look like if you choose to come to class. Masks are required for all face-to-face -face instructional settings. Uh, this is, includes lectures, uh, going to lab, or the hack session on Thursdays. UNL has already established a website for all COVID-related policies. Uh, it's uh, just simply covid19.unl.edu. Uh, and it's branded as forward to fall. So check that out if you've got any questions about policies or otherwise. In particular, the face covering policy dictates that you have to wear it, a mask or, or a face shield and all, uh, in all situations in which you'd be inside, except for maybe uh, your own dorm room or when you're alone. Please do read this for the details. And consider taking the Husker commitment, which I have in which as a member of the Husker community, you pledge to make sure that you stay healthy and to keep other, others healthy and to protect the community at large by complying with the mask policy and other social distancing policies. The other major change is gonna be a reduced capacity in our instructional areas. To accommodate social distancing where you should not be within six feet of another person in indoor situations, the lecture hall has been limited to 53 seats from its normal 285. With our current enrollments, this essentially means that each student will only be able to come to class face-to-face -face every fourth session. Labs and hacks have also similarly been limited to 15 seats. Since it's a lot of hands-on work uh, where you may need help from LAs, we've established an overflow room that's BYOD. That's bring your own device. In fact, BYOD is recommended for everyone. That is bring your own laptop to lab or class instead of using the lab computers. This will avoid unnecessarily using a keyboard that may or may not have been cleaned properly. The fortunate news is that I've structured this course such that no face-to-face -face attendance will be required. Remote attendance is always going to be an option, and in fact, it may be your best option. Every lecture is live streamed via YouTube. During lecture, we'll have a live Q&A through Piazza, an online forum that we use for this course. So you will still be able to ask questions or ask for clarifications through this forum. Not only that, but the recordings will be available immediately after via YouTube so that you can watch them at your leisure or go back to refer to them for reviews. Finally, beyond the live lectures, I've already recorded 60 pre-recorded video tutorials and demonstrations for this course that are actually required viewing anyway. For labs and hacks, at least one LA will always be available online via Zoom for every lab section. So that you can still collaborate with your fellow students, we'll also use Zoom breakout rooms. And for this class, all LAs and myself will be holding online virtual office hours through Zoom. There will be no face-to-face -face office hours. Now to help us better plan, we're sending out a survey to see how many students will actually be planning on attending face-to-face. -face. As I said, due to current enrollments, you'll only be able to attend every fourth lecture session. But if a lot of students elect to attend remotely, we may be able to increase that to every other time. Please take this survey and fill it out by Friday. Also on Friday is the College of Engineering's Noob Camp, starting at 11 a.m. I'll probably see a lot of you there, but if you haven't heard about it, go ahead and check out this website, noob.unl.edu. Registration is not absolutely necessary, but it is suggested. You can still attend even if you haven't registered. Sessions start at 11 a.m. and go through the afternoon. All of this is online via Zoom. So I invite you to attend. The semester is going to be different. 
but it is going to be successful. 